okay, everybody, Mary's coming to set. What a cool, huh? You excited? Been living for this moment ever since I wrote about her on sciencefrontiers.com. She's living history. Can you imagine being present at the advent of one of the biggest scientific breakthroughs known to humanity? You're the super savvy producer that snagged her. That's right. She's all ours. Is that what she's wearing? I thought she'd look more. A slave speaks. Take one. Scene one. Marker. And action. My name is Mary Reynolds. And well, I, I don't know how old I am. Was born before the war, though. In Hawker County. And why do you think you were chosen? Been asking myself that same question every day. Don't know there's any rhyme or reason why something happened to a slave. Don't know what I did to catch Croft's eye. I imagine he saw something special in you. Special? You sound like him. <clears throat> What's up with all the sweating and the fanning? She's used to the cold. How could you say this? Oh, you changed. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just so very hot. Can you tell us how you met Julius Croft? It was at a church service. Are you religious? No. You're a woman of science. What about back then? They sent us to church regularly, but it was always the same. Pastor say, any of you all see anybody stealing old Miss's chickens or eggs, you go straight to old Miss and tell her who it is. Anybody steal old Mass Haas, go straight to him and tell him all about it. We scared to death to tell anything. Because if we do, the slave would get a killing. A killing? For stealing an egg? A killing for stealing. That was our church anyhow. Then one day this man come talking about being reborn. Life after death and all that. And the slaves got to thinking, this is the church and we've been hearing it. <clears throat> I'm so very sorry. I'm, it's very hot in here. What? She looks like my neighbor. Sandra? I mean, the way she's dressed, she's over 100 years old. No one's going to watch a documentary and believe she is a slave. She doesn't look like a slave. I mean, she's over 100 years old? Wow. I guess black really doesn't crack. She, she was, was cryogenically frozen. frozen. Were you in the meetings for this? No, but that's way cool. I mean, no pun intended. I didn't even know they could do something like that back then. I researched it. It was pretty rudimentary. Yeah, she's a pioneer. She's so brave. <laughs> Maybe there's something we could do with the, the lighting or the angles to make her look less... Lighting? <sighs> okay, and lots of dramatic close-ups. You guys get the dolly set up? Yeah. Nixon? Nick? TJ, are, are you rolling right now? The new preacher came around that day was Croft. I knew it. I thought so. He said he was building a machine to deliver us from death. He said he needed our help. I was used to helping white folks, but never on no machine before, so I wasn't inclined to what he was saying, but before I knew it, Master sold me over to him just like that. They put me in a wagon, and before the day was done, I was in this new place. Not like anything I ever seen before. A big old barn it was, but it was filled with these funny shaped glass bottles and these funny looking tools, these rows of tables, and on the tables, Negroes with twos running out their arms and legs. And all along one side of a wall, I seen 
big old blocks of ice like coffins standing up on end. And in each one, a Negro frozen like a bug in amber, naked as a day they born. And he said, Mary, you about to be a part of something special. And I told him I didn't want to be. And another man came out of the shadows and they held me so I couldn't move and cut my clothes clean off me. I begged them, please send me back to my master, but they thought that was funny. They called me ignorant. They put me on the table and tied my wrists and my ankles down and the man put a tube in me and I said, what is that? He said, ice water, the coldest thing you'll ever feel. He said, I should feel grateful because it was a hot day that day. And what's going to happen to me when you put that ice water in my veins? I asked him. He said, he didn't know. All this time, I assumed she volunteered. <laughs>